What is up you guys? Back at you with another video and this one's a really exciting one. We're going to be 3D printing something that normally people do in 2D. Pictures. Why would we do that? Well, stick along. So, I never realized this existed and I feel like a lot of people don't. Everyone thinks 3D printing is some kind of models like this and this is a complicated looking thing and it's not terribly complicated, but you get the point, it's usually three dimensional. Why would you 3D print a two dimensional thing like a picture? Let me show you. As you see right here, here's a beautiful 3D printed picture. Just kidding. This is how it looks like from an angle with no light. What it's called is a lithophane. Now, let's put it under some light. Bam! Picture! No picture. Black and white picture. Very cool effect. If, as long as it has, it doesn't have to be just sunlight. You know, it could be just normal fluorescent lights. But as you see there, there's a beautiful picture of my parents there. This is for my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I'm on TV, I guess, kind of. Really? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really cool. So then I was like, this is pretty neat. Well, what else can we do with it? Another nice picture of my parents there. Beautiful black and white. I did a world map and I thought it was a great idea. And with the light, it looks incredible. It looks beautiful. But the cool thing is, is without light, it still looks pretty neat. It gives you that effect. This is done by having thicker uh, lines at certain places and allowing only certain amounts of lights to come through. But, but, believe it or not, there's more. <laughs> Why have a black and white picture when it's the 21st century? It's not the 18th century after all. We are using 3D printers, so we solve it. Bam, a color lithophane. Right there you see the actual colors of the green and you know my dad's shirt, my mom's dress. Just like that by normal printer, having this really weird discolored photo. It knows the, how to correctly print that based on your lithophane and you just put it behind it and there's your effect. Very easy. The neighbors are curious. Hi neighbors. We all love a 30 minute tutorial which explains something that can be said in about a couple of minutes. Just kidding. No, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to jump straight in on how I made this lithophane and how I added color to it and how you can do in a couple easy steps if you have a 3D printer. If you don't have one, um, maybe you seeing how easy this is will convince you to get one or to ask a friend to do this for you. I don't know. You should have a 3D printer by now. Come on, man. Get one. It's worth it. So we got to go to this website called It's Litho. Of course, the link will be in the description. You're greeted with this screen. First thing you want to do, go to the upload tab, upload your file. Here, I have a nice picture of my parents. Again, this is my mother's birthday that we're planning for. So here we go. We go to the edit tab. That's what it shows you it's gonna look like in black and white. You don't really need to change much of these. Uh, I didn't change any of these. If you wanna play around with this and start changing them, go ahead. But I got great results without changing anything. Model, same thing, I kept it normal. However, I will say there was one thing with the shape options. If you want your litho thing to be larger, it's very important to edit that right here. This will make the STL for you. But the reason you wanna edit it in here and not in Kira is because if you want a color, this program correctly makes that color image scaled, whereas Cura obviously will not. So uh, for mine, I believe I scaled them about 150% for most of them. Um, sometimes I want a little larger like that world map. It just depends on your original image size, right? Once that's all done, you just hit download right here. You'll be greeted with this diagram and there you go. You can just download the normal lithophane and be done with it. Or you could also hit color lithophane and get both. Now, keep in mind before you get to this tab, this quality size right here, I push mine all the way to native on most of mine prints, but your size of the file will be much larger. Now this is a very key part if you're gonna make your lithophane color, you have to open it with paint. Good old classic paint. Can't believe they're getting rid of it. All we have to do right here is to ensure that our scale is correctly and Kira decided to interrupt that. Go back Kira. So what you do right here is you go to file, print preview and this is how it's going to look on your piece of paper but before you do that it is very important that you make sure in your page setup that this is done to adjust to hundred percent if that is not done your lithophane will be off mine is adjusted to hundred percent that's what it looks like 
I print it just like that, it's gonna be the same size as my lithophane. Remember to do this before, right after you scale it into the website, but before you scale it in Cura. Do not wanna scale in Cura, this won't work. Beautiful Cura! Okay, let's drop our STL in here. Let's throw that as wonderful lithophane. It might load a long time if you put yours on highest quality, depends again on your computer. Here it is, beautiful lithophane. Now, as you see, this one I made straight. You'll get the effect regardless, but if you want your thing to stand up better, go back to your lithophane website. Make sure under the model parts, you choose away from plane to, well, I believe I used a pumpkin. Just kidding, we did not do a pumpkin. I don't know why you would do a pumpkin. What is a pumpkin? Oh my gosh. That's scary. I do not know why you would do that. Please don't do a pumpkin. Let's just do a arc. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful picture. Not a pumpkin. Half around. It'll stand up by itself and you could have that effect. Wonderful. So back to Kura. Okay. So all we want to do here mostly is rotate it. There's not much else you need to do except for ensure that you're doing 100% infill. Okay. You have to do 100% infill. You don't need supports. Don't worry. It'll work just like that. Build plate adhesion, you can do a raft if you have a wham bam or just to be safe so it doesn't topple over. I did so, you don't need a large one as you see mine was only eight millimeters. And there you go. That's all you need. There's not much else to it. There's no crazy editing, no supports, nothing. You get one printed like this, like a plane or curved. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys have fun making some lithophanes and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.